Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road and this is my review of the Dango Gripper Mount for action cameras like the GoPro or the Osmo Action. I'm the Dork in the Road and I want to be your internet writing buddy so please consider subscribing. So the Dango Mount is probably one of the most easy to use and versatile options for mounting an action camera to your helmet or just about anything else that I'm aware of. It quickly and easily attaches to most helmets. Here's an example on a, this is a dirt bike helmet, MX helmet. It's that fast, uh, it's very strong, grippy, you can hold the helmet up with it. If it'll hold the weight of a helmet I'm not at all worried about losing my several ounce action camera. Uh, it also works with street helmets quickly and easily. Same deal. Just like that. And you can eat, move it between helmets that quickly and that easily, which I like about it. It has multi-axis adjustability, so you can adjust your camera up and down like this, but also you can press down on the mount and rotate it, which gives you a lot of versatility and options for mounting not just on a helmet, but also on other things, clipping it to your bike or to a tree branch. It also turns into a mini tripod, just like that. So you can use it, set it on a table, set it on the ground. You can get a ton of shots and a ton of versatility out of this one little camera mount. They also make an adapter kit that'll give you even more flexibility and versatility here that comes with a couple extra arms and an adapter that makes it so that you can mount it to basically any camera with a standard camera mount on the bottom. So theoretically, using this and the adapter, you could put a DSLR on your chin and ride around on your MX bike with it. I don't know why you would, but you could, that's all I'm saying. It also has this safety strap, which you can attach, just loop over your helmet or attach to something you've stuck to your helmet or whatever else you're using it on if you're at all worried about losing your camera. But um, I feel very confident. It's a very strong clamp right here. It's got a, a uh, big spring in there that holds it tightly and it's got all this grippy material. I'm not sure if you can see that here and here. So you get a really tight and secure grip and uh, I'm not at all worried about my action camera coming off in the times that I've used it. So what do I like about it? Well, I've already covered the fact that it's incredibly easy and incredibly versatile. It's super lightweight, very durable piece of kit. Uh, this thing weighs almost nothing. It's so versatile you can use it to film in a bunch of ways. So just as an example, if I'm out riding with Lil Dork and I want to get some third person footage of myself, I have her clip this to her helmet, ride along behind me for a while. Then I want to get some third person footage of her. I take it off her helmet, attach it to the back of my bike on the rack, I can clip it on like this on the rack on the Africa Twin or my DRZ and get footage rearward facing. Well then I want to get a third person shot of the two of us. I can stick this up in a tree, clamp it on, and or just set it on the ground in mini tripod mode and get all of those shots without ever taking my camera off of this mount and is quickly and easily switching between them. And it's so light that I can throw it in my bag or just clip it onto my rack or my crash bars and just always have it with me. If I don't use it, whatever, it costs me nothing in terms of weight or inconvenience to bring it. But if I do want it, there it is. I've always got it. So it's cool for that, I think. It clamps very tightly. It does not come loose even in the rough stuff. You're going to feel very comfortable and secure having this attached to your helmet or whatever else you clip it to. Some cons of this particular mount. Here, let me demonstrate one. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I don't think it's a huge deal just because it doesn't limit your range of motion that much. But if you had a collar or a piece of armor here that brought this up a little bit, it might keep you from bringing your head down as much as you're normally used to. It will limit your range of motion just a little. Every mount limits my range of motion just a little though, so that doesn't bother me. And the way it hits, I'm not at all worried about it coming loose or losing my camera. So bear that in mind, even if it does bump up against something, it's just gonna be inconvenient. It's not gonna pop it loose or anything. The biggest con for me is I originally bought this because I got a new Climb Krios. That's the helmet I'm gonna set up as my new vlogging helmet. My MX-9 is just old and it's time for an upgrade anyway. But the Krios has a chin skirt. So if you have a helmet with a chin skirt, it doesn't work super great with helmets with chin skirts. I would be comfortable popping it on and off once in a while just to get a quick shot. But since I run my camera all the time, I'm just not comfortable with it. It'll either ruin the chin skirt or make it so it doesn't grip as well as it could. So if you run a helmet with a chin skirt, something to be aware of, something to think about. If you run a traditional MX helmet like this, no chin skirt, no problems. Traditional street helmet with no chin skirt, 
If you don't have a chin skirt, I've said chin skirt 3,000 times, it's not a concern at all, but something to be aware of if your helmet does have a built-in one that's not removable. The most obvious con of this design is the price. It's 50 bucks for this mount. Now, for all of the different types of mounts that it becomes, and the simplicity and ruggedness of this design, I don't think that's that crazy, because you can get cheaper mounts, but they either require you to stick something to your helmet permanently, or they're just harder to get on and off and they aren't as secure in my book. So 50 bucks is a lot to pay for a mount, but not for one that's gonna last you forever and replace several things in my kit. So just be aware, it costs $50 and you'll decide if it's worth that in your opinion or not. I think it is. So the final verdict on the Dango gripper mount is this. It is a quick, easy to use and versatile mount that anyone that wants to film their riding should consider. The cool thing about it is I think it's really great for two different types of people that want to film their ride. So for content creators like me, just the versatility of this thing, the fact that I can carry this one mount and clip to the helmet of whoever I'm riding with, clip to my own helmet, clip to the back of my bike, clip to a tree, set it up on the ground, use it as a mini tripod, set it on a picnic table and talk to it. The fact that it will do all that in something that I can just easily clip to my rack or throw in my tank bag and forget I even have until I need it is awesome. So super versatile, lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space. I love that. So it's great for content creators like me. But I also think it's really great for the super casual rider. So if you want to record occasionally some stuff that you're doing, and you want to have a quick and easy way of doing that without having to permanently modify your helmet. You're riding down the trail, see a cool section, pull this out, slap it on your helmet, hit record, ride the cool section, watch your buddy ride the cool section, stop the recording, take it off, throw it back in your tank bag. That kind of ease of use and versatility for the super casual rider and recorder is also there. So I think it's cool for both of those. So worth considering whether you are hardcore trying to shoot multiple angle b-roll or just trying to have an easy to use camera that's readily accessible. This will be the mount that I hand to anyone who's riding with me anytime I want to get b-roll or just a different angle. Uh, you don't need any training to use it. Just slap it on their helmet, hit record, and know that I'm good to go. So Lil Dork's going to use this a lot. I know it's not the cheapest mount out there. You can buy cheaper mounts, but they either require permanently modifying your helmet, which you know, you got to use that sticky stuff and they're not as versatile. You're not gonna be able to move one of those mounts around. So you're getting one mount out of one mount and this is like 12 mounts and two tripods. So there's that. And some of the cheaper mounting options also aren't as secure and they aren't as easy to put on or take on and off. So you lose that versatility. So this is worth considering even though it is a little bit more expensive in my opinion. If you're looking for a quick, easy, versatile set it and forget it mount, this is the one. Check out the Dango Gripper. Link's in the description so you can check it out for yourself and pick one of these up if you'd like. Big shout out and thank you to Dango for sending me this mount to try out and review. Much appreciated. And double big shout out and thank you to Dango for sponsoring a giveaway. So we're going to give away one of these mounts. And all you have to do to enter to win is head over to Instagram, follow at Dango underscore design, and at a dork in the road, and then comment on my post about the contest. And all you have to do is tag somebody else who should enter the contest. You can tag multiple people on multiple posts and get multiple entries. Just don't go repeating any names or get cute or anything like that, because I'll notice and it will disqualify you from winning. Dango has graciously volunteered to ship anywhere in the world, so feel free to enter no matter where you live. And good luck, and I hope that you win the contest. I will draw the winners one week from the day this video released, and I will announce them and contact them over on Instagram. So I know some of you aren't on Instagram, and I apologize, but there's no way to contact winners here on YouTube, so I have to run giveaways over there. If you have any questions about the mount that I can answer, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to go over and enter the giveaway, but for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Uh, thank you. Excellent!